Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change Outlook status. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just on this video. Let's get started. So you might be looking for a way to change your Outlook status here. Now we all know that when you try sending some emails out there, like for example, uh, if someone sends you an email, sometimes you will be able to see what's their current status. But the thing with this one is there's a few things that you need to know here. Now the thing with Outlook here, if you want to change your status, you won't be able to do so inside of Outlook. But there is something they could try doing here in Outlook to basically make uh, it seem like, like for example, you're busy. So what you could try doing here is you could just go to your calendar here and just maybe create a meeting here. Like for example, you could just click on new meeting here or new appointment. And you just need to set this to the date that you want to basically look like you're busy. Like for example, you want to go and just specify the date. Like for example, to uh, on Monday, let's go choose Monday and from the following times, like from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Now, if you create this meeting here, let's just say it is going to be busy time. Let's go and just add an email address here. But once you've added or created a meeting here, uh, you will notice that the specific time will be blocked and if you reach or that time actually went or you are creating that time in your meeting here, well, in this case, you will look like busy. Like, for example, uh, you're in a meeting. So something like that will appear in your current status. But if you're really looking for a way to basically change your status here, this is going to be uh, kind of pretty more uh, a lot more easier if you're going to access a different app. Now, if you access uh, Teams here, you have the option at the top right here to click on your profile, click on the status itself, and you just need to set this to BC. Now, this will reflect your Outlook account as well. So whenever you try sending, it will look like that you're BC in your account here. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.